Hi, we've got Dwayne Nisbet. He's our club legend of the week from the Smithfield Footy Club in Division 5. Welcome, Dwayne. Cheers, mate. Thanks for having me. Um, tell us a little bit about your footy career, where it all started. Uh, it started way back, I guess, when I was seven at, at Smithfield. At Smithfield? Uh, I've played pretty much my whole juniors out there. I played development squad at Central Districts. You know, went, went through that, the 70s and 90s out there. Obviously, wasn't good enough to make it. Never, never a true superstar, but yeah, went back out to Smithy and pretty much been there ever since. I uh, played coach last year, and that was my last year. And this year, I'm just uh, dedicated to, to coaching. So, being a Smithfield boy all your life? All off, all the way through. Been there for a very long time. Uh, a very rare commodity in these days? Yeah, as you see, you're like I was just saying, mate, you know, a lot of blokes chase the money or get caught, you know, running away from the clubs. But, you know, like I said, I'm been there and I'll be true, there forever, mate. True yeah. Smithfield. Smithfield and coaching. Uh, so how long have you been coaching? Coaching, all right. So uh, probably started about five years ago. I jumped on board with Dave Thompson. He got him out and assistant coach him. And we ended up having a couple of good good years there. I was a great assistant coach. So uh, you're assistant coach at Tomo? Yeah, I was. Yep, yep. So we won the, won the two flags and then uh, played in the third grand final with, with Tomo and lost that. And then last year helped Josh, you know, assistant coach for Josh Consolon, who's a uh, current coach. And yeah, how, long, this year. how long have you been doing the Magoos? Uh, the Magoos, I, I jumped on board as a play coach last year, so I yeah. play coach, and then this year, uh, yeah, just taking on the coach. Just coaching, so. And you're also coaching the women's side? Yeah, so I've uh, rounded that up this year. That started with a, a couple, you know, conversation after a few frothes and a few beers at home, me and Josh, and then just said, look, let's, let's try us up, you know, we'll try to start a team and put out expression of interest and had a, had a retro day and then that ran up a few birds to, to start a team, which is good. And Looking forward to it. it, actually excites me. It's just got that fire burning in my stomach again, you know, from footy teaching, something I love to people that don't know. Yeah, so, I mean, gee, that's a lot of coaching, so you're looking after <laughs> the A's, the B's and the women's. Must have been hard getting that women's side up this first year. Yeah, definitely, like I said, it's, it has its challenges, mate. You know, a lot of the birds have never played footy or they've, they've always been around footy, you know, a lot of them played even yeah. junior footy or they've come through and they know people from the club and a lot of them might twist around, but... Like I said, they all come out and I said to them at the start, you know, probably the first few training sessions that, you know, he's uncomfortable, you don't know anyone, new club, new people, new everything. Probably now I feel like an outsider, to be honest with you. <laughs> They've glued that well that they, you know, they're one big, big unit. And you got good numbers? Got good numbers. We're up to, I think, we got about, well, we, the first retro day we had, I think, was on 20 plus, and then, yeah, it's probably gradually yeah. grown to about 30, I think, we're out now. So. First year? First year, so, which is good. that's amazing, isn't it? Oh, it's the same story, you know. Some we got, we train the same nights as the boys, so that's that's as its challenges as well, you know. I try to jump between the two or three, but yeah, that's no, good. Good to have them there. Excellent. And uh, obviously, all footy clubs, uh, their life clubs, is their their sponsors. You got any great yeah, sponsors? Yeah, right yeah, I'd like to thank for your sponsors. I start with uh, Dark Art Tattoo. Yeah. is number one. We got uh, Bitchy Mill, Fulton Hogan, uh, the Plush Group. We got yep. Raw Traffic Control, and we got Explosive Kennels. So they're our main sponsors for this year. Uh, yeah. Yeah, always sound, good, which is good, good to yeah. have them and without them for any, yeah, all the listeners out there get the, uh, the valuable sponsors of Smithfield and uh, give them a few dollars. Get around them. Not a That's problem. It. Thank you Cheers. very much for being our Club Legend of the Week. Thanks mate.